Hi guys, Whitney English for She Knows, coming to you from Pamper Me Fabulous at the gorgeous Tarania Resort in Rancho Palos Verdes. Today we are chatting with Patty Stanger from The Millionaire Matchmaker about how you can keep your relationship hot this cold holiday season. So Patty, the holidays are coming up, a time when a lot of single girls get the winter blues. What are your tips for single ladies on the holidays? Well, I mean, you got to get out of the house, okay? And you've got to like, I like when single girls get together and they form their own little posse, whether it's Thanksgiving dinner because you're a stray and you have no family, or it's Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve, whatever it is. I think you got to bond with your female companionship, and so you don't feel so alone. Last year I had a, a pajama party Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> for New Year's Eve with a bunch of my girlfriends because none of us you know, were dating anyone at the time. So I, I don't agree that you have to like be lonely, but I do think you need someone to take your mind off it. Maybe get your favorite movies out, your favorite foods out, etc. The holidays are a minefield for relationship screw-ups. So one thing that a lot of people worry about is when should you get a gift? When is your relationship well, strong enough? I mean, I really believe that it's going to be said before you do it. Like, I think a guy's not stupid and a guy, you know, the first time I was dating my fiancé, we were knew each other two weeks. We agreed to give each other a favorite CD because it was like two weeks old. Keep it now. small. Right, keep it small. So a trinket goes a long way. You can spend $50 and under or $20 and under, just like you would at the office. But you want it to be thoughtful and you want it to be something that he's interested in or she's interested in, and that's important. So there's never a time when you just shouldn't no. get a gift And by all. the way, a book is a great gift, you know, whether it's a coffee table book or a book that they're interested in. Give them a hint with the yeah, well, millionaire I mean, matchmaker. If you're single, <laughs> you might want to get become your own matchmaker. Now, if you're in a committed relationship and you've been together for a while, what's a really great gift for your boyfriend? Well, I mean, a great gift for the boyfriend is always a BJ. Can I say that on the air? But if that's, you're not going to give them that. No. Um, it's <laughs> making him dinner and, like, giving him something that's related to like his his interest, whether it's golf or cologne, because you want them to smell good for you, you know. Things little things like both that, yeah. A silk little shorts, you know, like little silk tapered shorts. Sexy. Yeah, <laughs> lingerie. Something else that women tend to jump the gun on is introducing a boyfriend to family. Yes. Do not introduce him to family unless he introduced you to his family first. And if he's hinting, like, okay, well, you're going to take me home for Christmas, that's okay. But if he has never brought up the subject matter, he's not, he's not discussing it, maybe something went wrong in his last relationship with his girlfriend, don't go there. Now, if you are bringing him home, perhaps he already introduced you to his family and you've got a tough family. How can you make it easier for him? One of the most important things is that I think when somebody interrogates somebody, they feel it uncomfortable. So talk to your dad and make sure that he doesn't interrogate and your mom's not already planning the wedding. Make it as seamless as possible. Okay. Now, last question, back to the single ladies. How can you find a great New Year's kiss? Well, a New Year's kiss is usually the first kiss that you ever had with the guy. So if the guy doesn't kiss on the first one, forget him. Forget him. <laughs>